Hello. In today's video, I'm going to compare four different varieties of pumpkin. The reason that I'm comparing them is that I want to know what variety to grow next year. So I'm going to be comparing the small sugar and the Kent that I grew at my home and the Sibley and the Podimarin that John and Rob grew at Canberra City Farm. You may have seen my other video where I filmed John talking about the pumpkin patch. This is one of the pumpkins that was planted in well-worked soil, plenty of compost. I'm not sure whether this is the Podimarin or the Sibley, but you can see how healthy it looks. Beautiful looking leaves. And here is the Kent pumpkin that I grew up some metal mesh. I try to do vertical gardening wherever I can, that way I can fit more plants into the garden. I also grew the sugar baby vertically, and there it is. That's up um, Rio mesh that's put into an archway. The criteria that I used to compare these four pumpkins were their weight, the ease of cutting, their taste when steamed, and their taste when baked. In the picture, you can see that the Sibley pumpkin was the largest at 3.9 kilo. That's the whole pumpkin, not the half. The Kent was the next largest at 3.6, then the small sugar at 2.4 kilo, then the potty marin at 2.3 kilo. However, I specifically chose smaller pumpkins from the vines because I was opening four at once. I didn't want the largest of each variety, so they would grow a lot bigger than the ones that are in my photo. Ease of cutting is an important criteria for me because I'm really sick of fighting large pumpkins to try to get through the thick skin. So the Kent was the easiest to cut, followed by the potty marin, and then the small sugar, and the Sibley was the hardest to cut. You can also see that the Sibley doesn't have as many seeds as the other three variety. That was actually a bonus. I didn't have to pull so many seeds out before cooking the pumpkin. The potty marin had lovely thin skin, which was great for cutting. But one of the downsides is when I sat it on a hard surface in storage, it did rot a little bit on the underside. So the Sibley probably wouldn't rot like that. For the mashed pumpkin comparison, I did not add water. I just added a dob of butter to each of them. The Sibley and the Potty Marin, they mashed really well, a bit like mashed potato, quite a thick, fairly dry texture, especially the Sibley, whereas the Kent and the small sugar didn't mash as well. There was a separation between the solids and a little bit of fluid there, particularly the small sugar. So I think that the Sibley and the Potty Marin tasted nicer when mashed. The Potty Marin did have a slightly bitter aftertaste, but they were both really sweet when mashed. I wasn't successful in getting a bricks reading on pumpkins, so I thought whilst I was mashing it, I would get equal weight of mashed pumpkin and equal weight of water and check what the bricks was of the solution. And I found that the body marin was the sweetest, followed by the Sibley, followed by the Kent and followed by the small sugar. For the baking comparison, they were all basted in oil and cooked in the oven at about 200 degrees for about an hour. All four pumpkins baked well, but the potty marin was by far the best. Such a rich, strong, sweet flavour. Then the Sibley was next, also really sweet. Then the Kent, and then lagging behind, was the small sugar. I was very surprised by the results of the comparison, because to date I've been eating the small sugar and really enjoying it. But when compared with the other three, I won't bother growing the small sugar next year. I'll definitely be growing the potty marin. It was so nice and it looks cute, the shape of it. And the color was so orange in comparison to the others. They looked bland. I'll probably grow the Sibley again. And well, Kent is Kent. They're great pumpkins. I'll probably grow it again, but not next year. Thank you for watching and sharing my journey.